Okay, we're doing a little tour now of Steinbeck, trying to pick out the highlights uh, with reference to the heritage of this particular community. Uh, and there is a, a map there and a quick story of, of the, the beginnings of Steinbeck right over there just off the Jacob Library and the park that exists here, the Lowen Park that exists right here as well. And here you have an interesting picture really. I don't know if you had a chance to look at this place, but uh, a very good, in our opinion, drawing of uh, some of the parts of Steinbeck. This was Main Street around 1950. Personally, I can remember as clear as day. I recall walking these streets many times and so on. The one building over there is the, that's the old post office, the old city hall, town hall, village hall that Steinbeck had for many years. That was uh, 1955. Significant thing about that is there's a man standing on the roof there with the Canadian flag just being hoisted. This was just after the, after the um, uh, Maple Leaf was declared the flag for Canada. Turning on to Reimer Avenue, Reimer is a very noted street. It's really considered the, the middle of Steinbeck. The house, the house you see behind you there is uh, a Lowen house, one of the very progressive uh, uh, entrepreneurs of Steinbeck, their whole family was, and uh, for a long time were some of the mainstays of, uh, of uh, entrepreneurship and business in Steinbeck. Hanover, very important street to Steinbeck. Uh, as you go along the street, you'll see it's a, it's a sort of a vintage or heritage type of street with the huge trees over, overhanging the street itself. The people who owned that dealership way back then and started the, the car sales in Steinbeck, 1914, uh, this was their home on Main Street. It was later on moved to here, and this became then the, the nursing home for the hospital, which was right at this place to my right here. It was moved here, I guess, as a gift, basically, to the uh, healthcare community. And uh, it's situated sideways, a quarter turn. This is not really the front of it. The front is this way because they needed to have an overarching uh, uh, walkway from the hospital to the nursing home. So that's why it's located a quarter turn away from this. This uh, particular tree here has significance, and it's, uh, it's spelled out in there. It's a tree that it goes back to the very earliest of days, an apple tree, crab apple tree, two basic posts to it. One uh, produces fruit one year and the other produces fruit the other year. I guess it was some harder uh, was, uh, what do you call it when you graft something? I guess grafting. And I think this is, to me, is a, a very significant sort of uh, item in, in Steinbeck's heritage. J.R. Friesen was the name of the person, one of the sons of uh, one of the original Steinbeck families and uh, he owned the car dealership. It's part of the same building. It's never been totally rebuilt, like it's been rebuilt but never taken away. It's just been added to, so now it looks very different than what you had here. But this to me is very, very significant. We were an agricultural, simple community, relying of course on the horse and buggy and all the work that goes with it. Well, this particular picture shows you how. The, I consider it that at least, how the uh, uh, car age, if you will, was brought into Steinbeck. Horses pulled a sleigh upon which this car was taken from Giroux, where the, the railway was, and it was driven to Steinbeck, and that's how they got it here in wintertime. And then, of course, the cars would be here and be, be sold from there. So it was the horse and buggy age that sort of ushered in the automobile city way back at that time, 1914, I think it was.